Hi, and welcome back to GSA Connects Cast. I'm Kira Grenet, your host, and I have a couple of very fascinating guests with me today. First of all, we have Sagata Data, who is chair for next year's GSA Connects. And also we have Nathan Nimi, the incoming new GSA president. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Perfect. Thank you. And um, I'd like to start with you, Sagata. Um, you're the chair for next year's conference. So tell us a little bit about your background and how you got involved with the Geological Society of America. Sure. So uh, we have been serving, or rather I have been involved with GSA or part of the GSA in terms of participating and contributing to GSA for the last uh, almost 25 years. And I'm very proud to say that uh, this is my platform of research that I have uh, done with my students and my students have been a part of GSA for many, many years. Um, so I started off as a student uh, about 25 years back and then I became a professional where I uh, became a member of GSA uh, in serving different divisions, uh, including uh, the hydrogeology division and also uh, geology and health. And from that perspective, uh, I have a really um, uh, a very good relationship with GSA, and I like to uh, you know remain as that and contribute to the next year's GSA in uh, San Antonio. Well. As the chair for GSA Connects 2025, what kind of experience do you hope to create for the international geoscience community? So, um, being in San Antonio, we are uh, we will be very thrilled. Uh, we means uh, we all, uh, you know, professionals, but also the students. Um, GSA hasn't been in Texas for quite some time, and probably not in San Antonio for for quite some time too. Uh, so in and around uh, San Antonio, the institutions and uh, several professionals, uh, they are very excited that they will be, it will be in San Antonio. And, and the international uh, attendees will get, a, uh, will get to see the culture of a Texan culture and culture of uh, San Antonio itself. It has a history and we are looking forward to, to have the, all the international attendees to be a part of that uh, for the next year. Fabulous. Okay, let's move on to you. Um, Nathan, congratulations, Thank you. Mr. President-elect. Fantastic. Now, as that, how does GSA Connect help to further the mission of GSA? What are your thoughts on that? Well, GSA's mission is science and stewardship and service. Um, and we have an opportunity here to bring together geologists from all different backgrounds. We have industry professionals here, we have government geologists here, we have state survey employees, we have academics and students, and so all these people can come together with their different perspectives on how they deal with geology, how we solve earth problems, how we understand earth's history, um, and combine to make a, a whole that's hopefully more than the sum of its parts. All right. Now tell us how you personally became involved with GSA and what led you to running successfully for your position? I first went to a GSA meeting uh, 25 years ago. I was an undergraduate student uh, in New York and the whole department piled into a van and drove to Boston. Uh, and we went to my first, very first GSA meeting there. And I've been involved ever since. I've run field trips for GSA. Um, I've been involved in the Publications Committee, Undergraduate and Graduate Student Research Grants Committees. Uh, and I served on council from about 2018 to 2022. And it was a really uh, interesting, engaging, and rewarding experience. It was a difficult time. We had COVID, we had meeting changes, um, but it was just a fantastic group of people who all come together voluntarily to serve the society who has done something for them as well through their careers. And so it was uh, time to give back, I thought, at my point in career, in my career, and to try and help lead GSA uh, for the next year. Well said, well said. Thank you both so much, Nathan sure. and Sagata. It seems like GSA is in very good hands for its future with you too. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much you very for much. taking time. Sure. Thank you. And look for us again. We've got more coming up.